don't fall into the keyword tool trap. This is a trap I found myself in years ago after spending tens of thousands of dollars on various different keyword tools to try to find the right keywords to rank my websites and get cheap ads. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut past all the junk, all the confusion, all the info overload, and show you 10 killer keyword tools, which ones you should pay for if you want to go that route, and how to get tons of free data for free so that you can find the keywords without investing a ton of money. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 different keyword tools how to use them, how they work, when you should use them, and how to find keywords fast for your market. We're going to show you all kinds of stuff, so stay tuned. We're starting right now. All right, so here we have the 10 keyword tools listed on the bottom of the screen. We're gonna show you where they go, how they fit, and which ones you need to use. Now we have four major categories of keyword tools. We have niche research, competitive research, domain tools, and ad tools. Now what you're gonna notice is that I've actually taken a lot of the, the info from these tools and I've included them on a really cool toolbar that I made for you guys that you can use. So if you wanna get that toolbar, you can go over to keywordsniffer.com, put your name and email, and you'll get this toolbar that is going Going to link you to all kinds of tools and stuff like that. We'll walk you through that a little bit later, show you how the keyword sniffer tool works and uh, everything like that. For right now, let's talk about where these go. First of all, we have the Google AdWords keyword tool. Now, in order to use the Google AdWords keyword tool and get the full range of data, you will need to have a running ad. Now, it doesn't need to be spending a lot of money or anything. It doesn't actually need to be running. It just needs to be approved and that'll get you guys the info you need. Now, when you go to the Google AdWords keyword Word tool, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your AdWords account like this, okay? And then you are going to click on the tools somewhere here. There we go. We're going to click on tools and settings. We're going to go into planning and then we're going to go into keyword planner. Now, the way this works is pretty cool because it's like the back door of Google that shows you everything that's going on in Google, right? So we're going to go in here and we could literally type whatever keyword we want. Let's say we want to type in uh, printable. And then we can get results of the word printable and see exactly what's going on. So we can see here the word printable is looked up 6,600 times a month. It is a medium competition. The competition here is for uh, paid traffic, not for free traffic. Okay, so this is for paid traffic. And then we can see all the various keywords that are related to the word printable. And we can see how many times they're searched for per month. And we can see printable coupons is looked up quite a bit, Bath and Body Works coupons, and on and on we go. So this is a very very, very good tool uh, for using if you're looking at paid ads or free ads or just want to find out exactly how many people are searching for various things in Google, which is really cool, right? We can go in, we can use that. Now, this is a really good keyword tool. Obviously, this is like the best of the best because we're actually getting the data from the horse's mouth, the horse being Google saying this is how many people search for these various things. And keep in mind, over 4 million people every 60 seconds are searching Google that's a lot of people and they're searching for a lot of this stuff. So you definitely wanna have the Google AdWords tool in your toolkit. And of course, Google AdWords is under niche research. Let's go to the next one here. We have our next one, which is SpyFu. This is a little known tool. This is mostly for competitive research, which is pretty good because like if I have a competitor, I could actually go to SpyFu, I could type in their domain and I could see exactly where they're getting their traffic, where their keywords are, uh, how much traffic they're getting. I could even see the ads that are running, right? So really, really cool, great info. Um, this is actually info that you could get with a free account. This is just a free trial account that I have. Uh, you can upgrade for more info, but with the free trial, you can get all kinds of good stuff. You can see what kind of keywords we're ranking for, uh, the top keywords, paid keywords, and on and on we go. So this is really, really, really good um, because if you have a competitor, like let's say my competitor uh, is you know whatever and I type it in here, I could actually see what they're doing, see what keywords there are because a lot of times I might not think of the keywords that my competitor's using and I might not even know what is getting that much traffic. So this is a very valuable tool and what I would do is take the keywords you get from this one and then punch these into your AdWords tool and then see what else you can get, right? So I could see here, like I ranked number 46 for ClickBank. If I could boost that to a number five ranking, uh, I can get a lot more traffic. So really, really cool. Um, we can see how this works. And then of course, if we put these keywords 
keywords in our other keyword tools, we can find all kinds of stuff, right? So that's really what this is about, is drilling down deep and finding out what people want. And the SpyFu tool is a great, great tool to use. Uh, even if you just have to use the free trial, that works as well. Now, also, I do want to tell you that a lot of these keyword tools, I've made a little list and links for you over at keywordsniffer.com. All you got to do is go over there, put your name and email in the box. You'll get notes from this video, as well as some links to these tools and a little breakdown of how they work, why they work, and when to use them. Let's dive in to number three. Now, number three is a keyword tool I have been using for almost 20 years now. It came out a long time ago. Uh, it's a great keyword tool and that is the Word Tracker Keyword Tool. Now the Word Tracker Keyword Tool works a lot like the Google AdWords tool, so it's gonna show you like how many times they're searched for every month, what the keyword is, a little graph of, you know, here's when it gets searched a lot. Shows you the competitive analysis. Now this competitive analysis is for organic rankings, which is good, right? This is important because we can actually see at a glance which ones we can probably rank for for free. Now, one of the most invaluable tools that is included with the Word Tracker is the suggestions. These suggestions are really, really cool because these are gonna be things that you may or may not have thought about. Uh, for example, if I hit like PDF or something like that, it'll actually go in and do some research for the word PDF and maybe I'll find out, hey, people are looking for like To Kill a Mockingbird PDF or um, you know how to combine PDF or whatever. It's a great way to find niche markets it's a great way to, to look at this stuff. And then you'll see that uh, it does time out, um, but you still get some good data for free. The key to making this work is to know the kind of keywords you want to go in in the beginning. Um, so like if I find out, oh, hey, you know what? I want to do convert PDF to Word, then I can take this and I can put this in my keyword tool like this. And then it's going to isolate that word and show me exactly, there we go, show me exactly what's going on. And I could see, okay, well, let's see which ones have the lowest competition, okay? Um, so convert from Word to PDF or something like that. And we could see at a glance exactly what's going on. So this is an excellent tool. Um, now, this tool is, we include some of the free results from this tool in the Keyword Sniffer tool uh, over at keywordsniffer.com. Just go there, put your name and email, get the uh, download, and you'll be able to start using that right away, as well as SpyFu and everything like that. And you guys can see the way it works is very easy because um, you can just go to the power search, type your keyword in here, um, and then you can see at a glance exactly what's going on. Um, and a lot of these tools are actually referenced in this, including like Word Tracker um, and some others. So it's going to link you to these tools right at a glance. You're like, hey, dude, I want to check the competition here. Boom, it's going to do that for you. So it makes it really, really, really easy uh, to work with. Okay, so that's over at keywordsniffer.com. The next one we have is the SEM Rush keyword tool. So the SEM Rush tool is a lot like Word Tracker, only gives you a little bit more data, uh, a little bit of stuff here. It's got a different keyword difficulty uh, ranking. Um, obviously, like 100 is difficult. If it's lower, it's better. Um, and we can go in and see, hey, you know what? These are really good. You can also see the cost per click. Um, gets you a little bit more data, gives you different related uh, searches here. Um, it'll also do uh, phrase match, exact match, and related. So like if you do uh, exact match, you could see that the competition is going to drop quite a bit um, because obviously exact match is a good one, right? So pretty easy to look at, um, pretty easy to uh, deal with. And you can actually see, hey, this is exactly what's going on. So these are the keywords that I can get. Okay. So really, really good. SEM Rush is definitely uh, one that we should use as well. Um, now, I like to use all of these in conjunction. Like when I'm doing deep keyword research, I like to use everything I can um, because I want to dominate a market. I don't want to just screw around. I want to like dominate and, and make it work in a really cool way. The next one we want to look at here is the IO keyword tool. Now the IO keyword tool is a little clunky in my opinion. Um, now, it does have Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, and everything like that, um, but it's a little bit clunky in the results they give. So like if I do printable, Okay, it's not going to give me perfect results, and then it does time out if you don't pay. Um, but they're they're okay results, right? It's not the greatest. Now let's take a look at what it looks like for like YouTube if we do printable, um, and we can see what's going on there. It looks okay, looks decent. Uh, we could look at like Amazon and stuff like that, see what kind of printable stuff people want for Amazon. Um, now this one looks a little different because I don't know if these are actual searches on Amazon, it kind of doesn't look like it um, because of the nature of the keyword. So, you know, 
kind of take that with a grain of salt. So like I said, it's a good tool to use uh, if you're looking for a free tool. Um, but again, it, it's kind of limited and they only give you like five results here. Um, so, you know, use it as you can. Um, but that's definitely one you do want to check out. Next up, we have Google Trends. Now, Google Trends is kind of like a niche research tool uh, because what you can do with Google Trends is you can see what people are searching for. So, like, if you don't know what niche you want to go into, you can go into Google Trends and you can see what's going on, right? We can see, like, Emmy Awards. Um, we can see what's being searched for a lot. Um, and a lot of times I've actually used this to find niches, one niche that made me, like, millions of dollars, uh, just by searching the trends and saying, oh, wow, this is pretty popular. Like right now, we could see that football games are looked up quite a bit. Um, if you made a site about football games, like my old football site, you know, maybe that'll work well. Um, you can also see like real-time search trends if you want to see what's going on right now. Um, you know, like people are looking up the McRib, um, like that, you know, that's a good trend to get on. It happens, I think they come out with that every year. Um, we can also look at like whatever electro spinning is, um, and on and on we go. So there's lots of different things you can look at here uh, to see what people are searching for. You can even do like categories if you wanna do category for business. Um, you can see what's going on in the business world, um, see what people are searching for. And then if you click on each of these, it'll actually bring up uh, the more related and the more exact type stuff for you. Now you can also go in and you can type something in and see what the trends are for a specific word, like printable, and then it'll bring up, you know, all the different printable stuff uh, down here as well. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. And, you know, it's going to give you all the data. Um, you can even do, you know, download or whatever you want, uh, which is pretty cool. And it helps if you spell it right. So that one's pretty cool too. And you can see, you know, the different downloads people want. Uh, breakout means it's like doing really good. Um, and you can see some keywords that are really, really looking good here, like uh, Dale Jr. download. Maybe people are looking for like Dale Hart, or maybe people are looking for like race car backgrounds or something like that, uh, which by the way, you can make money on this stuff. You just need to follow along with what I teach. Um, which definitely is why you want to subscribe and click the bell. All right, next up we have Ahrefs. Ahrefs is kind of like a domain tool, uh, also competitive research tool. It's one of my favorites. It is one of the ones that I actually pay for. It's a little pricey, um, but once we log in like this, you can see how it works. Once we log in like this, I can go in and I can put a competitor URL like this, and it'll actually give me a, a ranking check. So this is really good once you start getting your site ranked because you can actually click on organic keywords and you can see all and you can see all the keywords you're ranking for. You can organize them by like search volume. Um, you can see how you're doing. Did it go up or down? Um, you can kind of try to improve from there, which is really, really cool because I can actually go in and, and really, really get into search engine traffic, uh, start boosting these rankings up to get a lot more traffic. Like I just found out uh, Google Tricks. I, I actually rank for Google Tricks number 77. I could boost that up and get some traffic. Um, I didn't even plan on getting that keyword, uh, but it worked pretty well. Shopify affiliate. Um, I'm ranking number 46, so I could boost that one up and do pretty well as well. And you can see at a glance what your keywords are, are like and what they're doing so that you can improve and do a lot better. You can also look at your top pages um, like this, and you could do this for your competitors as well, which is like invaluable information, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Um, but again, that one is a paid tool to get the full results. I think you can get by with some free stuff, uh, but the paid one is, is great if you really dive in. Next up, we have Keyword Spy, which is kind of like a competitive niche research tool. Um, so Keyword Spy is a good one. This one is also on the Keyword Sniffer tool, which is pretty cool. So like when you're using the Keyword Sniffer tool uh, and you type your word in here, you can go into Google, or not Google Trends, you can go into uh, pay-per-click competition, and this is going to show you the, the Keyword Spy uh, tools. It's going to show you the Keyword Spy report. Um, of what it costs, what the search volume is, what the ads look like, what the competitors are like. So I could take this and put this competitor into one of my uh, keyword tools. Like let's say I wanted to put this into um, Ahrefs or something like that, right? I could put that in here and I can get a keyword tool and I can go for some of the words that uh, he's competing on. It shows like what the value is. Uh, we could do organic keywords as well. Um, and it'll show you what they're ranking for, where they're ranking and everything like that. Um, and you can go in and find words that are actually pretty easy to rank for. 
and start to tackle some of those, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, really good stuff, um, really good keyword there, that keyword spy. Next up, we have Alexa, which is a domain tool as well. This one is also in the this one's also in the keyword sniffer.com tool. Um, so when we go to Alexa, we can actually type in a domain like this, and then we can go through and we can put in, then we could go through and we could see what keywords they're ranking for, uh, the opportunities, which words you can get better. Um, and this is a free, free version, so I mean, this is pretty good. It shows you some similar sites, shows you your bounce rate, uh, sites linking in, keywords by traffic, we got keyword gaps, easy to rank, keywords that I could go for, so I could start ranking on these pretty easily. Um, opportunities, buyer keywords, uh, the whole gamut. So it gives you a lot of stuff for free. It also shows you your uh, traffic trend. You can see we're doing a lot better since I've been using a lot of these uh, keyword tools. Now, the lower the number, the better. Obviously, like Google is number one. So if I do google.com or I think YouTube might be number one or something like that, um, you can see like they're number one. Um, so really cool, really easy uh, to use. And you can kind of use this on any domain to find out exactly what's going on. You can find out uh, what other domains are doing. Um, so really Really, really cool, really easy. Uh, that's the Alexa tool. And then lastly, we have the Keyword Finder tool, which is kind of like an ad tool. Also a niche research tool here, okay? So on the Keyword Finder, this one's good. This one's also in, in embedded into the tool that we have for you. Uh, it gives you some good results here. Uh, now I am using the paid version here, which is definitely worth it. Um, you know, you just kind of have to pick your battles and see which one you want. Uh, now, you could get by with uh, just using the Google AdWords tool and some of the other free ones. Um, but if you want to have more detailed results, uh, you can get one of these uh, paid ones as well. So really, really cool. I mean, these keyword tools are definitely uh, very valuable to use. What I would do if I were you is I would go over to keywordsniffer.com. I'd put my name and email in and get the list of tools and also start using that toolbar because it makes it really easy and we also have some domain tools for you as well on that toolbar that you can use. You could just pop your domain in here. You could check the backlinks, the Woo rank, the index pages, Alexa rank. So a lot of these are all included there. So it's kind of like a one-click access to everything. Um, and you can usually get by with the free versions, but sometimes you might want to upgrade to the paid ones. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about keyword tools, and I hope it helped you. And uh, make sure you subscribe, click that bell, and go over to keywordsniffer.com and uh, give us a like and put your name and email on keywordsniffer.com and I'll see you in the next video.